everybody, this is Tom from Rocket Restorations and you might be asking yourselves, what am I doing at 5 a.m. at Chicago O'Hare Airport? Well, I'm going to McCacken. What's McCacken, you ask? The Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, which is pretty much the best show going on right now in the country. The quality of cars, the people you meet, the fun stuff to do, it's pretty freaking awesome. It really is. Oop, there's my bus. One really nice part about McCacken is all the hotels and everything's really, really close to the airport. So you don't really have to rent a car, you don't have to do anything. You just gotta hop on a hotel shuttle, it's a free ride to the hotel. Oop, I gotta get to flag this guy down. Well, nice, I don't know, 10 minute ride from the airport. It's not about the hotel, but the problem is, is I can't check in until three and it's now 6 a.m. So uh, yeah, I got a couple hours to kill. I can't get in the show till nine or 10, I think, so. I was gonna sit here and get some work done. And I don't know, maybe grab some coffee because I'm kind of tired after the red eye. So basically Friday's move-in day. Uh, it's pretty fun watching all the stuff come in and out. And then the show actually starts tomorrow. And then we'll highlight a bunch of individual cars at the show. And you can stay along with me and I'll show you how McCacken works and everything to see. Well, I found a way to fill up three hours of time. Now I'm heading over. It's very nice of them to have a covered sky bridge because it's Slightly chilly out. Actually, we really lucked out in the weather. Usually it's super cold, windy, and snowing. They got three inches of snow yesterday, but today it's eh, 45 and partly cloudy. Not too bad. Okay, this is a nice view. I need to go get my pass. I gotta go to the main entrance before I can get in, but uh, yeah, 300F. 58 DeSoto, 59 Dodge. Star cars this year are GTOs. So they're generally by the front entrance all lined up. I think there's seven Raymar 4 convertibles. That's pretty cool. I'm a Mopar guy, but if I couldn't have a Mopar, I'd probably be a Pontiac. This is a huge place. Apparently there's a sports car convention going on. Interesting. And here's the entrance. We just have some neat cars outside. We got one barn flying over there. It's like Sonico Camaro. And Trans Am Camaro. So this is pretty cool. You know I love cop cars. What's funny is the 69 Fury is actually owned by a guy named Greg Reynolds, who I met online like 20, 25 years ago. I remember in high school, I was like trading pictures. He's an old grizzled Chicago cop, but I've always wanted to meet him. Should be interesting, he's gonna be here tomorrow. It's a 73 Bel Air, some crazy custom, and a GTO. All right, I need to get my pass so I can get in. All right, that was pretty easy. I should could have gotten in here a bit earlier. They said 10, but I'm sure I could have gotten here a little bit earlier. Oh well, that's cool. Ford factory race truck. Um, I'm just gonna do kind of the quick highlights. I'm gonna do a better one tomorrow when everything's all set up because it's it's kind of hard to really show stuff when nothing's set up yet. Like they, they get everything like impeccably set up. Like the red carpet over here with all the GTOs. Oh, this is 74 too. It'll be a lot cooler tomorrow. Here's all the restoration companies. There's Magnum. I know those guys pretty well. So this is part of a really cool display. It's called the formal displays. So they're all black with white interior Mopars. This thing's gonna be really, really cool. This is my buddy, Bill's car. Bill Hanslick, good dude. Uh, known him for a lot of years, Real Sport Fury TT. He's been working on this for the past couple of months, trying to clean it up, get it ready for show. Gorgeous car, love 70 Sport Fury GTs. Black ARs, they just look so cool with the uh, hood blackout and the black stripes. They're really neat. Okay, this is just a small thing. This is what is one of those things that really makes this show great. I'm not talking about the reproduction neon signs. I don't really like these. So this area last year, is where my Roadrunner was. So I brought my 70 six pack black with burn orange interior Roadrunner last year. And the barn find section was full. So I got put down here, which was fine. But the problem was you couldn't get a good picture of the car. The light was so terrible. It didn't get any magazines, didn't get any shots, wasn't any of the media because the pictures were so terrible. So what did he do? He repurposed this into a vendor area, which is super smart. Because you want cars out here, we can have good light to get good pictures of them. But that's a great example of a show that listens to feedback and changes some stuff up. Bob, who runs the show, 
has a real good eye for pictures and setting stuff up and he listened to my feedback and I really appreciate that that he fixed that this year. Ooh, 62 Sport Fury. I like these. The logistics of getting all these cars in is crazy. So I obviously have a lot of experience towing with big enclosed trailers and big trucks. You have to have a lot of room to get around and get stuff in and out of here. So there's a line outside right now that's basically to the street, almost the freeway. And they're getting stuff in and out. They started putting stuff in yesterday, but you got to get, I don't know how many cars are here, but it's a lot. Hundreds of cars, obviously. And the logistics of getting all this stuff in, they're really smart how they do this. They have a huge crew. It takes a lot of logistics and a lot of planning to get all this stuff right. Here's my favorite part of the show, the barn find section. I'll go into more in depth on these tomorrow. Just kind of want to give you a little preview of it. Uh, there'll be a few cars where I want to go through and get a little more information on them. I'm pretty sure these are all 5150 cars here. That's kind of the thing now. They're finding all these barn find cars and bringing them. Man, is that the one from Washington? They bought a 68 Charger RT right up in my neighborhood, right in my backyard. No, California plates. I'll have to double check that. That may be the one that came out of Washington. I'm not sure. Six pack Cuda, TA, Hemi Challenger. There's that Hemi Survivor 71. I'd love to get more pictures of that. Corvette, Fairlane, two plus two, a heavy Chevy. Apparently heavy Chevys can't stop. But dum -tsh. Cornet RT Convertible, SC360 Hornet. That thing's pretty cool. The Torino. Couple Shelbys. 5150 was over here last year. I'm not sure if they still are or not. T-Bird. Hmm. Looks Russo modded. It's really nice being out on a Friday before the ropes come up. You can really see stuff. So they actually have a little bit of a swap meet in here. It's kind of a you know higher end one. You're not gonna find too many deals here, but there's always cool stuff. My friend Scott's always set up here. There's always interesting wheels and tires and I don't know, I bought a few trinkets over the years. You never know what you're gonna find. So this exhibit over here is pretty cool. These are all cars that the guys had in high school. This is my friend Dave Arndt's car. Uh, he did me a super solid last week and picked up some NOS parts for me in Michigan. I'm bringing home some uh, C-body NOS lower control arms. This car was restored by Magnum Restorations. I showed you earlier, they did great work. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is cars that everybody had since high school. Super cool. I love old literature, though it's all Chevy stuff. But still, it's cool. A few vendors in here. It's not the usual tchotchke type stuff. This is These are uh, future generation. Must be young kids with cars. You know my Chevy stuff. Worth a lot less than you know my stuff. Joe Dirt Daytona sold for uh, stupid money last year. 5150's got a hold of that with somebody else. Ooh, Charger. The finer details, they do pretty good work. Demon. Ooh, heavy cornet. I like it. Another one for the formal display. Something about a roadrunner without any of the stripes in black. The stripes add some good accent, but that's a lot of black. It looks sinister. So this is the far end of the show. So it's not nearly set up over here because they gotta have room to get all the trucks and trailers in and everything. So everything kind of stages over here. It's like all the black cars are heading over there now for the formal display. I'll get better video when those are all together. So over here is the survivor area. They do like very thorough originality certification. This is probably my second favorite area of the show, other than of course the barn find section. 65300. Ooh, four speed. Cool. That's a non L. Yeah, that's a regular 300. It's not an L four speed. That's cool. The original certification on a Formula 455. And Yinko Camaro. 
see what Mopars are doing. Maybe that Challenger over there. For souls. Duster. Clean 72. I wonder how that compares to the black one. Dave, Dave A. I think I recognize that name. Kuda. Okay, this thing's really cool. So this is the real two-lane blacktop 55 Chevy. That is super cool. It's an American graffiti too. I gotta take a picture of the Jamie. This is uh, Apex Restorations. They got some real high-end restorations they're doing. They're doing the reveals tomorrow. Somebody, somebody told me that that's a boomer board the other day. I can't get that out of my head now. I'm forever ruined for car show boards. Here's all the GTOs. Very impressive collection. What is that? Uh, I still don't know what that is. I mean, it's a GTO. Fuzz GTO. Chrysler made an HPP truck in 64 that was a 426 wedge. Kind of wonder if these were fighting against each other at the time. That's kind of cool. I don't see most of our trucks very often. Apparently there's a bubble outside. Huh. Eh. I've had worse views. Still some snow up on top up there. Alright, well, I've gotten like one hour of sleep in 48 hours, so... I'm gonna take a little nap and then I'll get up before dinner and go have dinner with a bunch of my friends. So, go to Chicago, don't mess around, get the deep dish. All right, hopping back at them. Pretty good view from up here. Cop cars, the Camaro with big tires. Badges too. I don't know. I like look though. Give me a bit of Chevy. All right. I think I'm gonna wrap up today. So today was Friday setup day at McCacken. Just kind of wanted to give you guys a little overview. Uh, I'm gonna go more in depth tomorrow. We're gonna do. There's gonna be a lot more people here tomorrow. So it's nice being able to film right now. It's really hard to film this stuff when there's a million people here. Um, but yeah. So hope everybody enjoyed watching the setup day. Uh, we'll have a. This will be part one. I'm going to try to get part two up on Sunday if I can get it uploaded at my hotel if the Wi-Fi cooperates. So this is Tom from Rocket Restorations. Appreciate everybody for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.